Good morning, everyone. I look crazy. I have just woken up and got the kids sorted. They're off away to nursery and preschool today. And then I just did my little Jamondo workout. I think it's the most consistent I've been with working out since having Oscar, which is 16, almost 16 months ago. Um, so I've been doing it for three months, the app. I do work with them, but I use it three to four times a week because it just is so good for this season of life. This is not sponsored by any means, but I always share whenever I work out just to show that I actually use it because I love it. And like the workouts are short. You can obviously pick what workouts you wanna do. They have, I think, 300 different workouts. Um, I don't think I've actually repeated any, maybe one or two in the last three months. So that's actually really nice. That's good for people who get bored quickly of like those kind of app or YouTube workouts. Um, there's not a lot of repeats, at least there hasn't been for me over the last three months. Anyways, drinking my water. I'm gonna go take a shower. I thought today I could just have like a little fall get ready with me. I haven't done one of those in ages and the kids are away. So I thought, let's just film this whole morning until I have to edit and do actual work to be sent off for review. So I'm just gonna include you in my morning. So let's go get showered because I'm sweaty and my hair is like fifth day. I feel fresh, I feel clean. I'm gonna do my, oh, this is not fully open. There you go. Uh, skincare with Skinition. I have my revitalizing toner. And I'm gonna keep it really simple today. I'm a little like red from working out. I think I'm just gonna use my advanced calm, calming serum and advanced time delay day cream. SPF 25 or 30? 30. That's gonna be it. Okay, let's do our makeup together. It's Monday, so it's not gonna be anything crazy. And this is very much not a tutorial. It's just gonna be how I would do my makeup. And you're just joining me for it. Also, <laughs> This is the saddest finger ever. This is all my natural nails. They're incredibly long. They definitely need to be taken down a wee bit. And this one, I just did the wrong workout the wrong way and it just snapped in half. Thankfully it didn't like go into my finger. Like it's still above my finger line. Do I take them all down or I get this one like lifted with something to like make it look longer? What do I do? Let me know. Okay, I might take my towel off because it's like not really staying well on my head at the moment. It legit looks like I have like black hair right now. Cool. Okay, let's start with foundation. Kidding. I'm gonna start with strobe cream from MAC. It was just a little sample size. I've had it in the full size and I like it. I kind of always go back to it. I don't think it's like a primer. It's just really like a glowy base if you want your skin to look a little bit, I guess, glowier <laughs> underneath your foundation. I'm gonna take my NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Norwich Light 0.5. Use a brush today with this. I'm gonna just use a good old flat one just to quickly get it on and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and buff it out. Okay, maybe up a little bit closer. I'm gonna go to concealer. I have the Fenty concealer in 190 for under my eyes. You might have noticed I didn't go right under my eyes with that tinted moisturizer just because it's a little bit too much product for under my eyes. So I'm gonna put that right under my eyes and for any blemishes or redness coming through, which I feel like is heightened, especially right after a workout, I'm gonna take this rose ink one in LX060, possibly my favorite concealer for coverage on your face. It's really good. The only thing I have to say that's negative is it gets really messy here. Like it just looks really sloppy whenever you open it. It's like everywhere on the outer part, which is a little annoying, so I just use my fingers, so then I use that rather than taking more out of the actual container. I'm gonna take the Glowish powder. It's in 03 Light Luminous Press Powder. I don't know if this is a lightish shade, but if it is, it's quite dark. I feel like that's kind of um, all of Huda Beauty's face products, like the Tantor and any like bronzing face kind of things. It starts quite dark, so if you're on the paler side, like really, 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 really pale side, I don't know if she has options for you, but she has incredible range for really dark skin tones. But I know like the tan tour, the lightest shade is like a little, like it's the darkest I would go with tan, so, um, or contour, or whatever. But this one, as you can see, it's a, there's a little bit of color and that's 03 light, so maybe there's a 01, I would assume, but they sent over the 03 and I like it. It's not like a, there's no actual shimmer in it. Now for bronzer contour, I bought this last week from Vive Muse. I got it in the shade medium, 
yeah, medium one, and it has two shades that it comes with. So this is more like your warm bronzing powder. This is more your cool tone, darker contour color. So I'm gonna take the warmer bronzing shade first. Just buff it into my cheeks just to give a little bit of warmth back into my face. And then a little bit of the more cool tone contouring shade, and that just like sharpens it up and hello cheekbones, right? I'm also gonna put a little bit in the crease of my eye. For blush today, I'm gonna use Karen Coral, the cheeky vegan glowish Huda Beauty blush. Really pretty pop of coral, like a bright coral. Just gonna put it on the top of my cheeks and buff it in. I'm gonna quickly just even out my brows with this Rimmel Micro Brow Pencil. Just a little bit more on this side because anyone else have sisters, not twins for brows? Plus, I'm coming up to a year um, post microblading and normally it lasts 12 to 18 months. Don't feel like I need a top up just yet. I don't even know if I'll get one to be honest because I'm glad I got it and it was like super useful, useful and helpful especially um, you know, being postpartum with Oscar, but now that I have a little bit more time with nursery and preschool, I can spend the two minutes on my brows, but it's still not even that. It's like 30 seconds. That's it. I'm gonna take my Rimmel Scandalize and just do a really quick coat. This one's running out because I've been using it for the last couple of months, but I think it's a brownish black, so it's not as intense for a Monday. My lashes are long from UK Lash, like they are thriving at the moment. So I think I need to go down a day in applying it because they're getting a bit too long. Okay, I'm gonna take the Vive Muse Velvet Sands Lip Liner. Quickly line my lips, fill it in ever so slightly. Also, I'm so messy with applying my mascara. Don't worry, I'll take it off later with a spoolie. Bare Minerals Memory Lipstick. I'm just gonna pat it on for a bit of color. And then any excess, I always pop onto my cheeks to bring it together. That took about 15 minutes on my camera there. But obviously it's edited into like four or five, I'm sure. That's it, that's my everyday. Quick and simple, as you can tell, my main focus is my base makeup. I always like to really focus on that because it just brings the look together. When you really focus on the base, I feel like Everything else is just like an add-on. I'm going to let my hair air dry a little bit just because I don't like blow drying all of this hair, especially with extensions in. So I'm gonna just brush it. I'll let it air dry for a bit, but let's go make a chai tea. Coffee? No, chai tea. Do you have Christmas music on in the background? <laughs> you changed it. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know that I and Patty put up our Christmas tree in the front room. Just one Christmas tree. No, two, we have one in our bedroom, but it's like a scanty tree. I'm gonna get copyright, you can't have it in the background. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm gonna take my pills. This is my supplements that I take. I bought these a couple weeks ago because um, a follower actually was raving about these for hair growth. And yes, I have like, hair extensions, but I want to like, actually grow my own hair and it always stops at a certain length and it never goes further than that like it just gets really like straggly and sparse i have quite thick hair at my roots but then it just thins out so i want to see if it works it's the vital proteins collagen peptides i got the capsule version but it does come in a powder version so i take three of those in the morning three of those in the afternoon with food and then i switched switched up my skin pills because i was taking the js health ones and i felt like i was just i hit a dud like it wasn't really doing anything i felt like my skin was kind of not progressing anymore so a lot of you actually have recommended these and they sent these over advanced nutrition program sent them over it's the skin acumax pills so you take two in the morning to it in the afternoon again with food um and it's been two weeks but i have a three month rule so it's going to be a little bit of a journey before i can actually give you a proper feedback and actual review and maybe a before and after. My skin's not gonna have like an extreme change because it has been really good lately. Um, I'm just seeing if this just amplifies it even more. So stay tuned. <laughs> my 
my chai tea choice to the pumpkin pie, the suki tea. I didn't even know we had it and I was like, yeah, I'm in the mood for that. And it's actually really nice. I just have it, I'd say black, but it looks orange, but blacky orange, no milk. Um, and then I had some scrambled eggs with everything but the bagel seasoning. A friend from Canada who came over brought me like three massive tubs of it and it's so good. And now I'm gonna do my devotions before I dry my hair because it's getting a little bit more dry, which is perfect. I have this book. Jane follows a girl actually. I don't know where she's from, but she likes her interiors and she was showing this book a lot. So I ordered one for both of us and I think Jess also has one as well. And it's just really easy. It's just like one page and then I just use my Bible app on my phone to read the verse that's attached to it and then kind of just have a moment of either worship or prayer. But it's really simple. It's not like extremely time consuming. I really like this and I read it sporadically. I feel like there's two types of people. <laughs> you can start from day one whenever you get it and then do 365 days from that day or just open it up and if you read it before you don't read it, you read a different one or yeah, I don't know. That's just how I work. Don't hate me. But I can do this and then let's dry my hair. Okay, when it comes to drying my hair, I go through a couple different things but these are like the most constant for me. I love this Kevin Murphy Shimmer Me Blonde. I think this is my second bottle of it. I feel like most of their products I've had a really good experience with. This is like just great for shine. You can see like a little bit of a sheen in there in the formula. Give it a good shake. Spray it on like damp hair and oh, it smells amazing too. This you have to use on damp hair as well. It's the Color Wow Pop and Lock. It's a high gloss finish. I like using it right before I blow dry my hair and then the tiniest bit after it's fully styled just to give a little bit of like structure but also just like boost the shine again. I guess like both of these are really shine. You can see like up close there's a little bit of sheen in it. So obviously you can tell with blondes it's hard to get like really like great shine just because I feel like there's so many tones going on but this is really good. And then lastly the Living Proof Fizz Frizz Vanishing Oil. That is a mouthful. Um, it's really great, it's really lightweight. I like that it's not really thick, like a thick oil. It's like a more of a thinner consistency. I'm about a quarter way done, you get a lot of this. It's just a really great brand in general for hair products, but I like this one very much. Okay, I'm using my Dyson blow dryer. It's the one that has different attachments. This is a blow dryer one. And we're gonna get through all of this hair. I'm gonna do it in sections and then just try and smooth out the extensions because I have the London Hair Lab Invisi Tape extensions, three packs in. So it takes a little bit longer, but I only wash my hair every like four, sometimes five days, so it's worth it. than I thought it took to fully blow dry my hair. It says 12 minutes, oh four, five, six, etc. From the like wet to fully dry, like the suctioning of blow drying your hair when it comes to ex extensions is crucial because you will feel like your hair is wet still at the base if you don't section it. I'm gonna take my Living Proof Oil and just put it throughout the ends quickly. And then I'm gonna go Say hi to Olive, because she's back for lunch before she goes to nursery. And then I'm gonna drop her off, and I'll come back and curl my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna show you quickly what I'm gonna wear today. This is actually from an Irish, uh, she was a personal stylist, but then she created her own line. Her name's Sinead Carey. 
I do have a discount code. I have to check what it is, but I know I have a discount code. I'll link it down below in the description anyways. But this is her newest AW collection. And it's this really pretty like cream jumper. I think it comes in another shade too. But the star of the show is the back, like the open swoop back with a little tie. I love it. I love the details, how like the sides are split so you can obviously tuck in the front and the back is like hanging a little bit, which I really like. I always size up when it comes to jumpers just because I prefer more of a slouchy fit. I think it looks a little bit more, I don't know. I, it's just, maybe it's just me, but I think when a, like a jumper is like fitted, it just looks frumpy or I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I like when it's a little bit longer, kind of hits like mid hand. So I think I got a large in this. I sized up because I normally would be a medium and I love the fit of it. Obviously it can be a little bit more open here if I tied it a little bit looser, but I like this. Really, really like it. Also my, oh, <laughs> Mamu Studio slippers. Oh my gosh, literally the best slippers ever. They're like a small little in Instagram brand that I came across this time last year actually. And I put it on my wish list for Christmas and Patty got them for me like a stocking stuffer and I live in them like you can tell they're so worn get your normal size and they're gonna feel tight but over time your like fur will like mat and it will fit to your foot but love them so much they actually ended up sending me i think a pair in april or may like a chocolate pair but i wear the cream so much absolutely love them my jeans i feel like i have to go so far my jeans how cute are these can you see them jeans are new look really really like them i actually just ordered them from asos like last week on friday really cute like a little bit of a bleach watch wash but they're not like skinny but they're not like overly wide i feel like i'm like a nice straight leg crop and this is perfect i got a size uk 10 i believe don't know why i'm out of breath i was just feeding olive and then i had to go to the bathroom and had to get dressed so this is my chill little Monday outfit, really cozy. It's how people show it off normally. <laughs> so yeah, this is my little my little fit. Alrighty, we are going to do hair now. This is honestly very realistic for a stay at home, get ready with me. I kind of do each portion, like my makeup, a workout, my hair, all these things whenever I'm in between emails or on a call or any, this is really intense, <laughs> anything like that. So it's not like a, I'm doing this all within 45 minutes. It's just whenever I get the time because I'm obviously filming it a little bit more in depth than just doing it myself. But nonetheless, let's go into hair. There's a lot here, but I like to be a little bit more intentional with the first curl after I blow dry it, like after a fresh wash, just because this will be like the curl that basically lasts four days. And I feel like, this bad boy a straightener ghd straightener which i feel like they're iconic all the ghd straighteners are the best um gives me the best long lasting curl i love my t3 curling iron it's a prettier curl in the moment but it doesn't last as long because with the straightener you're getting both sides of the hair when you're curling it. it's a little bit tighter but it lasts longer so we're just going to do it that way today i'm going to take some of my hair up just because there's a lot of it so then we can work in sections just brush the hair before we do anything make sure it's nice and smooth then i'm going to take an inch thick piece of hair and i'm going to be doing the same curl on both sides so away from my face also i feel like a bit of toner got on my hair there it washes out don't worry it's not the end of the world and um, away from my face on this side away from my face on this side it's just going to be repeated all the way around and you're going to want this curl to be tight because at the end we're going to go through and actually like calm it down with the strainer i'll show you what i mean when we get there let's just go with the curl right now so i like to go over my head i feel like going from here i don't have the right you know angle my hand can't go all the way around so i'm starting from up here twisting it all the way once and then just pulling it down if your hair is really long you're gonna have to kind of pull through and then you have your curl. Boom. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Will sing about your heart. Maybe the truth. 
trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope seconds to fully do a full head of hair with extensions it's an intense curl we're gonna take a brush and brush it out and this will just tame it a little bit more I like more of like a slight wave especially with extensions because I already have so much added hair I don't feel like I need a lot of curl because there is so much volume going on so I'm just gonna brush this all out so it just looks a little bit softer I kind of like a little bit of a straighter end so I go through and straighten the very like last inch or two just I think it makes it look a little bit more I don't know trendy maybe like you didn't try so hard with the curl it just calms it down ever so slightly so just go through and wherever has too much wave or curl I just kind of bring my straightener through it. Looks a lot more relaxed. The last two things I do with my hair is take the Kevin Murphy bedroom hair. This is like a texturizing spray because my hair is really clean and soft from obviously just washing it. This just gives a little bit of grit back. So I lift my hair, let it drop while I spray the product in and you can see the difference. It just looks a little bit more lived in, textured and PC. And of course, my favorite hairspray ever, the Kevin Murphy Session Spray Flex. I think I'm on literally the last spray, just for any flyaways and for it to stay and hold. And that is my go-to hair. And I'll fix it up throughout the week, but this is the base for like four or five days worth of hair and some dry shampoo too. We're almost done for the day. I actually have to go out and get a couple of things, but I wanted to share my jewelry selection because I feel like I always get asked questions on the earrings I'm wearing, the rings I'm wearing, and I'm gonna say 99% of the time, it's Hay Harper. I bought my first like parcel from them back in January. Yes, because I saw ads everywhere and it was this waterproof jewelry and this and that, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy it and see. And I loved it and then they got in touch with me and asked if I wanted to be, um, I don't know if brand ambassador is the right word, but you know, an affiliate, I guess is the right word. So you get a percentage off and I make a small amount from your sale if you choose to make a sale, purchase, <laughs> purchase, sale purchase. Um, but my code is HeyLana and it gets you 15% off. And I thought I would just show you my collection that I have curated since January. So it's been 10 months that I've been wearing this jewelry brand and I love it. So let's look. I should have clarified, this is definitely not an ad. I just wanted to share. Um, I'm an affiliate with Hey Harper, but this is not a paid partnership part of the video or anything. I'm just sharing my pieces. You can obviously see earrings and rings are like my go-to just with like small kids. Necklaces are never like my first choice when it comes to jewelry. I do have some of their chains, but this one is my favorite one. It's just the E. Um, initial one and I love it I wore it the entire time I was in Santorini and like never took it off obviously because you don't have to but I wanted to run through some of my favorites so I love my little earrings they're honestly so cute like the little daisy ones or the little heart drops really into these chain drop earrings I think those are so cool and like trendy I also get a lot of wear out of these pearl drop ones like oh they're so beautiful I always get questions whenever I wear those actually and then these little guys are new. They're like little blue Swarovski earrings, if we're gonna focus in here. Really pretty, it's their new collection with Swarovski, and I picked these little blue heart crystals out. I really liked those. And I also picked out some of their rings from the Swarovski collection as well. I thought these were really pretty. The first one's like this really 
gorgeous purple ring and it has, I guess there's five all together. I thought that was so pretty. Don't mind the fuzz on it. And then I also picked up this really dainty one. Really cute. Just something small and minimal. Love these little guys. Reminded me of little pretzels, but sometimes I just like a stud kind of vibe instead of the drop ones, but you can tell I love drop earrings. And then I have some ear cuffs. I wear this one a lot. This one's a little bit more fancier because it's like chunkier and it has like little chained rib detailing, but I wear this one so much. Also love my chunky hoops. These ones are a little heavy, but I would wear them more for like a night out or an event. I wear these ones so much. Again, I wore these a lot in Santorini. They're kind of a cool shape, more of a rectangle hoop, a little bit different and not heavy at all. But those are my go-to earring choices. I have two piercings on each ear, so I normally do like this and that, or this and this, or I just kind of like mix and match. So we'll put something together here after I show you my rings. And we'll go to my stacking rings. So I love collecting like little, just plain ones to stack and like, you know, change up every so often. Like hard to focus because they're so small, but this one's like really small, like twisted detail. This one is just like a plain kind of band, nothing fancy with that. And obviously the two Swarovski ones, so pretty. And my Hey Elena discount, the 15% off works on the Swarovski collection as well. And then a couple more stacking pieces over here. This one has like a little bit more of a flat front. And this one has like little like indents in it. Catches the light really pretty actually. And then my statement rings. This is normally what I wear on this finger. Oh, tragic that my <laughs> nail is broken. I would normally just pop it on this finger and it's just such a, I don't know, statement. This one has really cool texture on it. Again, another pointer finger ring. And then this one is like a chain ring, which I really love. Really cool detail and I like layering that one up with either one of these or a smaller one. So let's figure out what I'm gonna wear today. Okay, let's start off with earrings. It's not really a fancy day by any means, but I think I'm gonna do, I love these like drop chain ones. So I think I'm gonna put that in my first ear piercing. Really pretty. I love those ones. These are the two options. I love these little gold heart drop ones. I think that looks really pretty together. Or for a pop of color, I could do the little Swarovski moment. Let's wear the Swarovski just because they're new. And I normally always wear these in my second hole. Like that's my go-to. I think they come in green and in pink as well. Kind of like subtle, like whenever you like move your hair, you just see like a little pop of blue. I really like that. I'm gonna put the little ear cuff on as well. So we have the chain, the blue heart Swarovski, and then a little ear cuff, cluff, cuff. <laughs> That's gonna be earrings. That's ears all sorted. I actually think I might keep that there and then I'll stack up these two areas. For some reason, my fingers are so swollen right now, like the worst time <laughs> to show you jewelry. You can tell this one's swollen, like trying to get that middle one on. Anyways, okay, so I have this situation right here. Maybe I'll go like this so you can see better. Everything except for obviously my wedding ring and band is Hey Harper. I love layering up and kind of playing around with different shapes and textures. But I just love that, <laughs> I love that my eye was like peeking through that whole time. Um, love that they're all waterproof. You can put cream on, you can wash your hands, use soap. You do not have to take them off. Like when I wear these earrings, I don't have to take them off to work out and they're perfect. Like. They last so well, and they're really affordable too. So I'm gonna stop talking about them. I need to get dressed to go outside because I have a couple errands to run. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna get dressed up in. I'm gonna put my All Saints jacket on, just like an oversized leather jacket. I'm gonna put you down a little bit because you're a bit high. I have this black beanie. I genuinely think it came from like a PR pack for wine, but it's black and it's like misly and gross out. So. It'll do the job because I don't have a hood on this. So I just have that on and then I'm gonna take my Furla crossbody bag. I like when it's a little bit like higher up. I think that looks really cute. And I'm gonna go. So hopefully you enjoyed this very <laughs> strung out fall day. Spend it with me, get ready with me. All right, I'm gonna go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.